Welcome to That's My Entertainment. I'm Carenza Laguerre here with George East and Lucas Till from the newest MacGyver. So I have a question for you, Mr. Lucas okay, Till. Sure. You were born in 1990. The original uh -huh. aired in 1985. Have you done your homework? I have done, yes. I've started to do my homework. I'm probably, I think I'm in halfway through season two or three or two. I don't know. I just got busy and I started working, and now I actually don't have any time to watch the episodes. And but yeah, no. I mean, I caught reruns when I was a kid, but um, I have since started to do my research. Yes. Excellent. Because your fans, they're they're going to be on that, or, and the uh, MacGyver fans, they already they're avid. Been. I they know. Are, I know. <laughs> And Mr. George Ease, you go from a 15-year-long series, and now you're doing a pilot. Is that emotional, like investment there, or is it business as usual? Like, like do you get that the beginning, first day of school feeling again because it's a new project? Yes, I did on this one. Um, when it's MacGyver, that's about all I needed to hear, um, because I was not born in 1990. So no, I, I'm, I was very familiar with. Um, how iconic and legendary that it was and exactly who the guy was and what he did. I wasn't really that familiar with the, the characters that surrounded him. So um, I kind of checked up on that a little bit. I didn't really realize there was a Jack Dalton, you know. So um, I don't know. I've tried to, to digest it, make it my own, try to come up with some things that uh, give the show a little bit of levity. Especially in those heavy moments, especially when he's trying to make something out of a you know a paper clip and some chewing gum and a rubber band to maybe be that voice of the audience that tells him uh, like that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That's not going to work, and it works. So <laughs> that was going to be my question for both of you. What is your favorite MacGyverism, either from the original or from what you've done so far on the show? Um. What did I say earlier? I keep trying to change it every time, and now I'm running out well, of stuff. I'll tell you, though, the, um, MacGruber sent MacGyver a special video message before we got started, Will Forte. Oh, yeah. And um, basically it was, you know, kind of there would not be a me without you, and if you, uh, if you screw it up, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> or I think get a throat rip in, so... Um, you know, we love to laugh. We love the whole comedic side and how this show's been spoofed, spoofed but it's also kind of a, a tribute to, uh, you know, how legendary it was. So and I think I speak for us both when I feel like we, we don't feel the pressure as much as we're excited to, to pay homage to such a cool show, you know? Well, and I know you can't give away anything, you know, any recipes to something that could potentially be disastrous, but have you actually learned any any scientific factoid or you know yeah. quick fix it yeah yeah well there was there was talk there was some dialogue that has since been removed but it was it was a recipe to red mercury which is like the philosopher's stone all this kind of stuff and chemicals my mom's a chemist so i kind of definitely recognize what the theory would be around it and that was kind of neat but um other than that the only other thing i've learned it's not well yeah it's physics it's a neat trick with a fork and two toothpicks and a salt shaker, and they kind of just sit like that, and you can make it and you can spin them, and it's just hanging on two toothpicks. So I've learned that cool trick. Knocked the socks off some people at the uh, restaurant great. the other night. Nothing will ever replace the Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Watch sales of Swiss Army knives go through the roof after this thing. I mean, uh, he really can do a lot with that thing, man. And uh, it's kind of cool to watch him stop a jet with it, you know? Yeah. That's uh, impressive. Uh, well yeah. done, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I know you both are very busy and enjoy the rest of Comic Con. I'm Karenza Laguerre, and that's my entertainment. What's yours?